Hey guys, this is a BMW E46 2000 years and today I will show you how to change brake pads and the brake disc. To do that you will need uh, just a special tool for uh, removing your tire. Wrench 16. A small piece. As well, six, size 6 and of course jack. First just loosen uh, your tire bolts. Of course, you'll need hammer too. Then just locate a special place where you have to place your car jack. So it's underneath here. It's actually here. You can see this white piece goes in there. So After you have lifted up the car, just take out the bolts. After you have removed all bolts, just remove the tire and place it next to the jack stand. Next, just take your this small instrument or tool. I don't know what it is called. It's six size, so and just look for the screw. If it's not getting, if you can't remove it, just hit it a few times. Don't forget that you have like a brake on, so after it will not move if you will try to move it. Just hit it as hard as you can because you don't care about the disc. If you still can't get it out, just use some heat, like uh, using this torch, just heat it a little bit up and then just hit it again with a hammer till it gets loose. Okay, when you have loosened it, just go for the brake pads and for the support, brake support. So that's enough with this. For now, remove brake pads. Just you only need to unscrew two bolts. So one is here. This one. So this bolt you have to unscrew and just get it over. Another bolt, like this bolt. You can see, yes. So just two bolts. This and this. Take your wrench, place it on top of it. And if it's uh, not getting out, if you can't loosen it, just use again hammer and some gloves, of course. And just hit it, hit it with hammer hard. And it will get loosened.
Mount it upper bolt. And just take that 16 millimeters wrench, place it over, and if you can loosen it, use the hammer. Well, mine is already loosened quite a bit because I actually had to locate the problem for this, and I just took out this brake pad support. So it's that's why it looks so easy, but it's harder to just hit it harder, hit many times as necessary to get it loose. Never let it fall and just use the straps or something like that and while you're not using this just place it somewhere to hang it this place. So the brake line will not break. Holding this brake disc. And well, when it's done, you should be able to remove the disc by itself. That's how you remove your disc brakes. So what you have removed your disc this brake just clean the oil everywhere. It's giving me their oil. And don't be ashamed to use some metal brush. Clean the dust off and then work away with so nice. This primary coat of the stuff. First, just take this out. Just push one lower, one upper. Just take out the old brake pads. It should come out rather easy. Let's try this one backwards. 
shots and then just slide out there. See how they look. Looks like they are damaged and old and worn out. It's about to be a little bit harder. You can use this small tool, what you used before. Just place it somewhere. Don't want to dip the pan, just pull it upwards. And that's how you get it out. This looks even better. This doesn't look so bad, but still. Well, just use some silicone. Spray it a little bit over. Where is the piston? Take again the metal brush and clean it. But before you paint this, just push the piston inwards so check that everything works. I will use a sprayer, put it inside the piston, and then it's broken. Screw. Pushers, I don't know what's the name of them. Whoever, whatever, just look for something what can be. Pull apart the board there. Upper part will go. Well, if you're not able to slide it off like I'm, just take a hammer. Place it so it's uh, all around here yeah. on top. Yeah. Take some gloves or something like that. Hit it. Sounds good. Need some more time? using rubber hammer. So, anyway, okay. You place this in the place, just put this two way. Okay, you'll have to tighten it later, later on. Well, the thing is done. You have to put down your plate there. So it's good. 